uh, my penultimate day of coverage of the London Film Festival and wonderful movie again this festival has been in terms of the quality it's delivered a resounding success the film I just came out of from uh, director Crowley starring Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh we live in time and a wonderful wonderful movie about the fight against cancer and the enduring spirit of family. It's, the, the, the real negative is that this type of family dynamic I have seen before, this type of film does exist, but it's always nice to see it when... It's always nice to see it when... Um, when it materializes so damn well. The chemistry between Garfield and Pugh, it's contagious. They've got incredible on-screen chemistry together. It's believable. The way that their major life events, such as having their first child... Actually, do you know what I give major props to this movie for? It's the first time in a long time I haven't seen a pregnancy scene being overly dramatized and hyped. As a father of two, obviously there's a certain degree of drama to it because you're bringing life into the world but this whole women lying on their back ah, screaming it's just it's not how pregnancies go for most part at least that's not the experience me and my wife have had and it was really refreshing to see what I believe from my personal experience of pregnancy depicted accurately um, so yeah just little side note and I think major props for that but yeah, the, the major life events that are documented, such as them meeting, their first, um, you know, the, the birth of their child, her going through chemotherapy, um, and her wanting to leave a legacy behind her that her daughter will remember her by. It's so relatable, the fight that these two go through. Um, it's, it's really beautifully endearing. It's doesn't quite make my top 10 of the year but at this stage the top 10 of the year is so stacked because it's been such a great year of movies that's no condemnation on this film it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a Jerry Maguire yeah it's, it, do you know what it is it, it's like the second coming of Jerry Maguire um, the dynamic that Tom Cruise and Zelda get had back in the day it's mirrored here with Garfield and Pew and it's it's the strength of their chemistry and the believability of their relationship that's at the core of this movie and what makes the movie so damn good. Final score for it? Ooh. It's a tough one, you know. I think final score, we're probably going to go 8 out of 10. I think that's, yeah, that feels well balanced. 8 out of 10 for Living in Time. Absolutely one I recommend you see. Um, I mean, for the performances alone, it's worth the price of admission. The story's beautiful, it's relatable, as I said. You absolutely must go and check this film out and support it. Um, another banger from the London Film Festival. One movie to go. Um, next week, just so you know, next week um, after the reviews are done, we'll be doing a load of interviews with some of the filmmakers from the London Film Festival, so there'll be an inundation of that. And then after that, we'll resume kind of normal service on the channel. So that's my little PSA for this video. But yeah, wonderful movie. Go and see it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, see you on the final review for the London Film Festival coverage. Bye for now.